Today I'm going to make peppermint patties. I'm going to use peppermint oil, peppermint oil. I'm also going to use wintergreen oil. And I get these oils from Lore Ann Oils online. Uh, LoreAnnOils.com. I have also bought cherry flavor and cinnamon. So I can make whatever kind of patties I want, sugar patties I want. I'm going to coat them with dark chocolate. I get this at Trader Joe's. You can use any kind of dark chocolate that you want. I'm going to melt this afterwards and coat the patties. So very easy to do. First of all, we start with one half a can of sweetened condensed milk. I've got chocolate over my hands already. I haven't even started yet, and I've got chocolate on my hands. All right, so I'm going to open a can of sweetened condensed milk. Okay. Okay. And I'll put a half a can of this into here. You said about a half a can. That's uh, 14 ounces. So, yeah, yeah, it's about a half a can. Maybe a little more. Okay, a little more. There we go. The other half a can, I'll make more later. To a half a can, I'm going to add two cups of confectionery sugar. One. Notice you don't have to measure that great. I'm going to mix them together, mix it together, and this is my peppermint pad. This is my patty, my sugar patty. To this I will add uh, a top couple um, drops of oils. I'm going to first, I'm going to mix it so that I can get it in my hands, and when I, as long as I can handle it with my hands, I can shape the balls, shape the sugar and shape the dough into balls. I made these last night. It took me 45 minutes. The most time it takes is to melt the chocolate and coat the chocolate on the top of them. But in 45 minutes I made a whole batch. They were pretty darn good. I just ate two. So I figured I'd make some more and show you how easy it is to make them. Because York peppermint patties are not cheap. And you can't get wintergreen patties unless you go to a specialty candy store. Which I used to go to years ago. But then I figured, hey, I can make them myself a lot cheaper and I can make them whenever I want. I don't have to leave the house. Okay, so, it's off of here. Okie dokie, there we go. In the hands. Oops, don't want to make it. And of course, if it sticks to you, you need a little more sugar. I'm going to make it so that it doesn't stick to you. Stick my hand right in that bag of sugar. Pull out a little more sugar. There we go. Now it's not sticking to my hands. Okay. Like Play-Doh. Kind of like Play-Doh. Get the rest of that off there, too. I got clean counters. Okay. Might need a little more sugar because it's sticking a little bit. So just stick my hand in there, grab a little bit of sugar, put it in there. The sweetened condensed milk, all it does is hold the sugar together. These are delicious. They're wonderful to give for Christmas gifts. Everybody loves candy at Christmas time. No other time though. Not good. Sugar's not good for you. But it sure tastes good. Okay, that's about it in the dough. I'll blend it in, and I can handle it now without it sticking to my hands so much, okay? So, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to divide it so that I can make some of it. I'm going to do, uh, I love the wintergreen, that's my favorite. And I did some peppermint yesterday, so I do have peppermint. Man, they're strong peppermint too, but everybody likes peppermint, so 
All right, here we go. Let's put that there. Let's get a little bowl out. Let's get two little bowls out. Yeah, two bowls. Okay, let's divide this into three parts. A one, two, three. Okay. Now, on one of these, I'm going to put my wintergreen oil. I love wintergreen oil. Now, there's not much here, so what I'm going to do is I'm probably one, maybe one drop. This stuff is so potent. It's very, very, very strong. So you don't want any more than like one drop or two drops. I'm going to measure very carefully. Like about that much. There's like hardly any. It's like two drops. That's it. Because that stuff is so potent. Okay. Spoon that in there. Okay, get it off the spoon. Now work it with my fingers. Take this one out of here. Take it out of here and work it. So all the flavoring goes in there. And you can take a taste of this and see if you like the flavoring. Okay, I think I'm going to add, since that is winter green, I'll add a little green. One drop. One drop. Just to distinguish it from the other flavors. So when you look in the box and you see the candy, you'll know that the green is the winter green. Of course, now it's all over my hands, of course, but that's okay. 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 Now the peppermint, I'm going to keep plain. I think I'll do that one peppermint because I got a lot of peppermint out there. And this one here, I don't know what flavor. I can do cinnamon or I can do cherry. I like cinnamon myself. So you know what I think I'm going to do? I think I'm going to do cinnamon. Okay, so this is ready to be made into candy right here. See this? There it is. There it is, right there, ready to go. Okay, so this will be peppermint. So let's do the peppermint next. So that's the winter green. Green, green, winter green. Okay. The peppermint here, again, we only need a tiny, tiny bit, which is like... This stuff is so strong, it's unbelievable. Like, like, let's see how many, oh, let's see how many drops. One, two, three drops. That's it. Okay. Let me get a green. That won't be too. With the peppermint, bring that all and make it all mush in. Oh, I can smell the peppermint. Okay, so now this is like a York peppermint patty filling. That's all that is, York peppermint patty filling. Same idea. Okay. Now, with that, so that one's that one. Now this one, next one, I'll put the top on that. Now this one here, I think I'm going to do cinnamon. I love cinnamon. Cinnamon's good. We'll put a little pink in that. So, ooh, man, that is strong. So we're just going to, since that's a little topper thing, we'll just put three drops. Oh, no, two drops. Got in there two drops? Fast, okay. See the little drops? Right there. That's it. And one drop of pink. Cinnamon is pink. There we go. Cinnamon pink. Okay. Oop. Now we mesh all this together. In the hands, of course. And Oh man, I can smell that cinnamon. Woo hoo hoo! That smells delicious. That's gonna be delicious with the chocolate, dark chocolate coating on it. Ooh, cinnamon patties. You can almost leave it that color too, like that to make it pretty. Or just keep mixing it up till it all blends in. Mmm, I can smell that. So we got wintergreen, cinnamon, and peppermint patties. Now, yep, that's pretty much blended. Okay. Now, 
This is all that we've done with all this. Now the next part is just putting them in a... Uh, sugar's done, everything's done. Okay, next thing now, we want to get some wax paper and our cookie sheet. Wax paper and I think I'll do the cinnamon first. Okay, you want to make little balls, little balls about, little balls about, oh, what would you size to say that is? That's a, maybe a three quarters of an inch. Boop. Put them on the tray. And there. Now, that's the cinnamon. Now, what you gotta do now is you gotta flatten them out and then put them in the freezer to get them cold. Okay? Or on the porch. I'm gonna put my back of my spatula in the sugar thing. See that? Back of my spatula in the sugar thing. Why? So when I press them down, they're nice and flat. And they don't stick. Now those are the cinnamon ones. Now I can put those in the freezer, but I'm going to do the next ones. Now I'm going to do the um, wintergreen with them. Okay, so here's the wintergreen. Okay, same idea, same thing with the wintergreen. Make little balls. That a little bit. And... in the freezer right now for 10 minutes while I do the peppermints on the other cookie sheet. Okay, I'm taking my candy bar, my chocolate pop candy bar, dark chocolate, and I'm going to break it up. I don't know how much I'm going to break up, probably. Uh, uh. Man, that's tough stuff. Good stuff, though. Uh, you can use any kind of chocolate you want. Dark chocolate's the best. Uh, because milk chocolate just doesn't taste too good with peppermints and then candies here. <clears throat> so, I'll take this. I think that's enough to melt up for now. I don't know how many pieces that is. You can either do that or you can use um, dark chocolate chips. You can use chocolate dark, semi-sweet dark chocolate chips. I'm going to put this in the microwave for 45 seconds. Now, it's been 45 seconds and it still doesn't look like it's wet, but there's enough heat in here in the bowl to make that, if I keep stirring it, it will melt. So I'm going to stir it and let the heat from the bowl melt the rest of the chocolate. You don't want to cook this chocolate too much because if you do, it'll burn it. It'll ruin it. Absolutely ruin it. So you let the heat from the rest of the chocolate keep, just keep stirring it and it will melt. Okay. Now, let that sit for a minute while I get the, um, out of the freezer, freezer, my candies. Now they're nice and cold, okay? So now I'm gonna paint these. Take my little sugar and paint them each. This can get messy. And paint each one of them. Keep that stirred, just to keep it melted, and a little bit, paint it with the back of the, just use a knife, and uh, get solid as you can see, right here already, because of the cold candy. 
and you continue to do this for all the rest of them. See? And then, see, that's already hard already. And we put them back in the freezer, and then uh, we'll do the other batch, and then we'll flip. Okay, I put this in for uh, 40 seconds. It melted the chocolate. These just came out of the freezer. So what I'm going to do is now is I'm going to flip these over like this. Just like the front side. Spread it out nice and round. There we go. I put those back in the freezer and then in about, see they're almost done already. In fact, you could almost pick them up right now and put them in a box to give away to people. And I have some boxes upstairs that I brought online, oh gosh, 10 years ago. But right now, you can see right now, these are like, there's a candy right there. Oh, got my fingerprint in it. Oops, oops, oops. Put a little candy on. Yep, yep, yep. I want a fingerprint in there. So I'll put them in the back of the freezer until they harden and then I'll get them out. Okay, years ago I bought a hundred of these boxes. They were really cheap online. And, because I used to make a lot of candy for a lot of people, but you could uh, buy these boxes or, I don't know, get them somewhere. Maybe, I don't know, candy store, buy a couple, I don't know. But I bought these and they're pretty easy to do. Let's see, yeah, yeah, these go on the outside. Okay, so this goes on the outside. Ah, la, 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 la. Okay, that goes in there. That goes in there. This goes in the hole there. This goes in the hole there. Okay, nice little box for candy. So I bought some tissue paper, really cheap tissue paper. Let's see, I make it. Yeah, it's about right. Let's cut it about here. Okay, put tissue paper in there. Now, let's get our candy out of the freezer. And we've got our pink, green, and let me go get the whites on the porch. So now you get your three kinds of candy. Peppermint, wintergreen, and cinnamon. And you can label them on the outside of the box if you want, or you can just put some in here like this, stacking them up. One, two, three, four, five peppermint. One, two, three, four, five of that kind. And then one, two, three, four, five of that. 15 candies, look at that, isn't that beautiful? Close, close it up. Get a little ribbon here. A little ribbon, that's why I bought the ribbon at the same time. Okay, put the ribbon around the box. About that long, about there, put that aside. Ribbon on the top, on the bottom, get a piece of scotch tape. I know I'm doing this fast, but I'm sorry. Okay, scotch tape on the bottom, there we go. Come on, fingers, fingers. And there we go. And there's a Christmas gift right there. You can put your name or whatever to whomever one on there, a nice Christmas gift of candy. Okay, that's it.